were trying to figure out how to get you back. <laughs> what chancer's obviously no. She doesn't give a shit. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh my thing and see if that fixes yours. I don't know what to do with him. Right. I mean, he'll learn eventually. I mean, he's going to overthink it because that's exactly, that's inevitable. And I don't know that there's a solution to that. <laughs> yeah, no, not beyond just experience. It's like, you gotta, like, as a man, that's like part of becoming a man is understanding that beautiful women will use you because if you don't offer anything other at the table besides uh, you're, you, that you really like them because they're beautiful, then, I mean, they're not going to respect you for anything else, really. Like, they're going to use you. That's what the friend zone is. That's why I don't have any respect for guys in the friend zone when they're like, I'm in the friend zone. Well, you're the only one keeping you there. It's, it's amazing to me how much time I spend on it, but I guess it must, or people wouldn't spend that much time on it. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's this whole thing of like the nice guy deal. Like, I hate that. <sighs> she'll get tired of the jerks, then she'll realize what a nice guy I've been. Like, <laughs> you're, you're a dickhead. Yeah, just so much just, I don't know, pretense and mm. not kind of rules and just, I don't know. I ha I'm happily, I happily stand outside the fire and watch. Oh, I feel you on that. <laughs> Man, I'm not exactly, because obviously, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I think the thing that knows me the most is just, how guys tend to think of females as like some magical unicorn race that doesn't ever do anything wrong and they don't treat them like human beings and they're just human beings that's how they are they're women are women and they're people just like men are people so just mm -hmm. treat them like people because like i've had i i was in the military so trust me like i knew so many guys that would like well, you know, I married a stripper, and then she cheated on me, and I can't believe it. Like, you yeah. married a stripper? Well, she was so beautiful. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> like, it just drove me batty, and it's the same thing vice versa with girls, except it's usually not their looks. It's usually their character. Like, he was... I know he punches me in the face repeatedly, but he was so sweet when we met. <laughs> like, wah! Yeah, no, I hear both sides. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I just kind of like sit there and go like, obviously you don't actually want my advice, so. <laughs> right. I don't know. I, I've just seen this particular situation where a guy asks a girl for advice about some other girl and then the girl that he's asking doesn't really give him advice. She just kind of sits there and nods her head and goes, yeah. Which is kind of what was happening there. I'm like, all right. He'll learn, I guess. He'll learn and he'll forget and whatever, so. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to bed before Eric shows up and uh, bare-chested, bare-knuckle fights Jacob in a cage. <laughs> well, that could, that could be fun, I suppose. But dude, I wish I that would... actually happened, but they got into it, dude. You talking about yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
They got so in. I couldn't even get in edgewise. <laughs> yeah, you just back and watch. I tried. Hey, let's let's calm down. No, no calming down. What needed to be calmed down about? Who is that? Ken, is that you? That is me. Okay. I'm just not on camera because that takes effort. Is Ken the fucking dickhead that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Ken, you piece of shit. Oh, I like you too, Ace. I wish you were dead. That's how I know you care. It's okay, I wish I was dead too. Is that a ticking noise coming through on my mic? No. Okay. I really feel like that's Audra. What is me? Deco. Well, since I'm sitting here with headphones on, I don't think it's me. It might be me. No, I think it's it for you. It can't be me. I have a headset on. messed up then. Might be me. This, this has happened before. No, because I just muted myself and it was still echoing. So okay, Let me reset all my set. Let me mute myself and you guys continue talking. I mean, the, the sound of a chihuahua jacking off is gone now. Right, that's my computer. Um... Recently, it decided to evolve to its next Pokemon form, which apparently means making constant rattling noises. Like a Chihuahua jacking off. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to get one of my friends to bop in here and I'm explaining she's like she's like well I test half half and half INTJ or INTP and I'm like yeah, those are very different <laughs> she's They're like he'll explain <laughs> she's like well I get split JP scores I'm like that's irrelevant yeah I don't know if you bopped into the uh, first room there Ken but uh the ultimate friend zone is going on in there right now. Uh, between who? Jewel and Nick? Some Randy that I don't know. I call him Randy because I don't know him. But some Randy that I don't know is asking some other Randy that I don't know about some other Randy I don't know. And it's classic friend zone. Like, okay, I'm a so guy. I'm going to ask a beautiful girl about some other girl that is my friend, but doesn't ever show any romantic interest in me. But we're really good friends, I swear. So, like, maybe there's something there. How do I win her heart? Well, it's his ex-girlfriend that he's asking Dude, about. That ship has sailed, my man. Let it go. I know. He's, it's so convoluted, but... The shit's over. It's, it's, it's difficult for some people to let things go. I think everyone has things uh, that are difficult for them to let go. It's just sort of more unique to. I mean, I had people. a cheese addiction for a long time, but I let that go. Yeah, different caliber. <laughs> well, no, because I don't have a cheese addiction, so I can't say that exactly. it is necessarily of a different me. caliber. I mean, now I get it. It's just like. The thing, because I used to do the same thing, but what really hit me the most poignantly was my buddy asked me, do you think that your ex-girlfriend is in a talk with one of her friends trying to figure out how to get you back? And I was like, no, no fucking way. And he was like, well. So I did what any responsible I would do. I just called him a Jew and left. Well, this is what Jesus loves you. 
and his, you know, Nickness. What can we talk about? Did you just use Nick as? Sorry, my 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 grammar rules are shit. I don't really understand it. But do you just use him as an adjective? Possibly. Nickness. I feel yeah. like I'm in a baseball stadium. Well, it was still happening while I was. Alive, I think. Oh, if you're still getting the echo, mute the raw room. That's what I did. Stupid raw room. I think that's it. Oh, much better. Yeah, hey! <laughs> Ken, you're a fucking genius! It's okay, you'll hate me again probably in the next five minutes. <laughs> I wish you were dead of cancer. I like Ace. Dick cancer, specifically. Every time I ejaculate small <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. To further solidify that I'm going to die a virgin, I'm going to start referring to my cum shots as pressurized ejections. Damn, son. <laughs> that's yeah. real. <laughs> like, that's a place we never that's, needed to go. That's fucking real as hell. Are you actually a virgin? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not Ooh. an ENTP. No, I mean, I'm, listen, no judgment at all. I'm genuinely asking. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that I'm sensitive about it in the sense that it's like I can't talk about it. Most of the time, I'll, I'll like I can spend half the day talking about my own peculiar shit. You're just not like most people just give you shit, right? Uh, it's it's like I <laughs> give a shit, but it's not enough of a shit to motivate me to do shit. I'll tell you. I got you done. It's like half the time people are like, you totally need to do this. Uh, and then the other half of the time, those same people are like, man, it's not fucking worth it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, well, make up your goddamn mind. Which one is it? I feel you, man. Although, truth be told, I understand that there are things that you can kind of hate while they're going on, but in retrospect, you're glad that you did them. So, I mean, vagina is really nice. Yeah, I'm just one of those, uh, I'm just one of those fags that I think <laughs> actually cares about, you know, like relationship and shit like that. Sure, man. Again, no judgment whatsoever. But uh, it's been part of the reason why I've been really interested in uh, learning more about these instinctual types. Just because. Yeah, mute the raw room, Loki. It's the raw room's fault. This is why. Room. Okay. So I'm going to refer to the raw room. room from now on as Senior Sushi. Senior, Senior Sushi. sushi. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would be more my question is, it's like, if you if you could, would you? Or is it more of a, I absolutely refuse to, morally speaking? Oh, it, <laughs> early. In the times of my life when I was uh, a Christian then yeah, there would have been some sort of moral component. Now it's not a moral component at all. Um, yeah, it's it's more... I'm not sure how to pin it down to, you know, one sentence. But uh, it, it's, it's more just whatever... 
whatever mindset or sort of drive a person would tap in 